Welcome to Top Things, where curiosity fuels our journey into the unknown corners of our world and beyond. Today, we're embarking on a unique adventure, a voyage into the realm of alternate realities. Imagine Earth, not as you know it, but as it could be in a parallel universe. What if our familiar landscapes were twisted into something foreign and unimaginable? We will delve into various hypothetical scenarios, each one more intriguing than the last. From an Earth where land and sea are reversed, to a world where the moon is but a myth, these alternate realities challenge our understanding of the world as we know it. Grab a snack and get comfy. And don't forget to follow our channel for more videos like this one. Are you ready to challenge your imagination and question the what-ifs? Join us on this extraordinary journey as we uncover the mysteries of these alternate Earths together. Let's dive in. Have you ever pondered the intriguing concept of alternate realities? What if the Earth we inhabit was just one of many possible versions? Today, we delve into some fascinating what-if scenarios, painting a picture of alternate versions of our home planet. Our first scenario, what if our oceans and lands swapped places? Imagine vast continents of water surrounded by seas of land. The implications for climate, human civilization, and wildlife would be monumental. A world where the Sahara Desert transforms into a great ocean and the Pacific Ocean into a vast landmass. The climate could drastically change with potentially more severe storms due to the increase in water surface area. Wildlife would need to adapt or perish and human civilization would face a massive upheaval. Next, consider a world with no moon. It's hard to imagine our night sky without its familiar glowing companion. Yet, without the moon, our tides would be minimal, controlled only by the slight gravitational pull of the sun. Many nocturnal animals that rely on the moon for navigation and hunting would have to adapt or face extinction. And think of the impact on human culture and mythology. So many stories, poems and songs never written, so many lunar deities never worshipped. Now picture Earth orbiting not one, but two suns. A binary star system would drastically alter our day-night cycle. We might experience extended periods of daylight followed by a brief twilight and a quick deep night. Our climate could become more extreme with hotter days and colder nights. However, the abundance of solar energy could usher in a golden age of renewable energy. Finally, envision an Earth with a different tilt. Our planet's 23.5 degree tilt gives us our familiar seasons. But what if the tilt was more or less? Seasons would drastically change with some areas experiencing more extreme temperatures while others might have milder climate year-round. This different world might have shaped human evolution in entirely different ways. All these alternate realities highlight the delicate balance that allows life on Earth to flourish. They remind us of the beauty and uniqueness of our home planet and the endless possibilities that exist in the vast universe. Let's continue our journey on this intriguing subject and if you are enjoying this trip into parallel dimensions, don't forget to subscribe to our channel on this universe. It will help us bring you more intriguing explorations into the realms of science and imagination. Imagine an Earth where all its continents had merged into one giant supercontinent, a single massive landmass surrounded by an endless ocean. This isn't a wild flight of fantasy, but a throwback to the days of Pangaea, the last supercontinent that existed around 300 million years ago. As our continents slowly come together in this animation, consider the implications of such a change. The global climate would transform drastically. With most of the land concentrated in the center, the interior of the supercontinent could become a vast desert, as the moisture from the oceans would struggle to reach so far inland. Biodiversity, too, would be affected. Species that once thrived in isolation might find themselves competing in a more crowded landscape, sparking a new wave of evolution. And what about us, humans? Our history of exploration and trade, driven by the separate continents and the vast oceans between them, would be fundamentally different. Perhaps we would have developed a more unified global culture, or maybe our differences would be even more pronounced. In this alternate reality, Earth becomes both familiar and foreign, a testament to the incredible power of plate tectonics and the ever-changing nature of our beautiful planet. Would we have adapted and thrived in this world? It's a fascinating question to ponder. Imagine an Earth where all its ice has melted away. The polar ice caps, the sprawling glaciers, all gone. This isn't a far-fetched scenario considering the current trends in global warming. As we watch the ice disappear from the globe in this animation, let's delve into the potential consequences of such a change. 
The first and most immediate impact would be a dramatic rise in sea levels. With no ice to hold back the oceans, coastal cities and small island nations could find themselves submerged, displacing millions of people worldwide. The global climate would undergo a severe transformation as well. The polar regions, once icy wastelands, could become habitable, while the equator, currently a zone of rich biodiversity, could turn into a scorching desert unable to support life. Marine ecosystems would also be affected with species that rely on the ice, like polar bears and certain types of seals, facing extinction. On the other hand, terrestrial ecosystems might see an explosion of new life, as previously frozen lands become fertile. And what about us, humans? Would we be able to adapt to an ice-free world? It's a daunting question, one that highlights the urgency of addressing climate change. In this alternate reality, Earth becomes a testament to the incredible power of nature and our responsibility to protect it. As we consider these scenarios, remember that the future is not set in stone. We have the power to influence the course of our planet's history. What if humanity were to survive the challenges of an ice-free world and evolve over thousands of years into a hyper-advanced civilization? Let's take a journey into this hypothetical future. In this animation, we see sprawling, futuristic cities built with materials and technologies far beyond our current understanding. Skyscrapers rise like gleaming spires, their surfaces covered in energy-harvesting materials. Massive, floating structures hover above the ocean, harvesting energy from the waves and the sun. Imagine a world where technology has reached a point where it is seamlessly integrated with nature. Buildings are self-sustaining, producing their own energy and recycling waste. Farms are vertical, built into the sides of buildings. They use hydroponics and aeroponics, requiring less land and water. Transport is fast, efficient, and environmentally friendly with autonomous vehicles and hyperloops connecting cities. But what about society itself? Maybe our future selves have found a way to eliminate poverty, inequality, and conflict. A society where technology has enabled a post-scarcity economy where everyone has access to food, shelter, education, and healthcare. A civilization that has learned to live in harmony with the Earth, mitigating the impacts of climate change and restoring the planet's ecosystems. It's a tantalizing vision of the future, a testament to human innovation and resilience. But remember, this is just one possible path. The choices we make today will determine the future we create. In this animation, we see our home planet, Earth, but something is distinctly different. Instead of rotating from west to east, it's now moving from east to west, orbiting the sun in the opposite direction. Imagine the sun rising in the west and setting in the east, a reverse of everything we know. This change would not only reverse the direction of sunrises and sunsets, but also alter the Coriolis effect, which influences wind and ocean currents. This could potentially lead to significant changes in climate and weather patterns. Additionally, this reverse orbit would impact our solar system's dynamics. Planets have been orbiting in their current direction for billions of years, creating a delicate balance. A shift in Earth's orbit could disrupt this balance, possibly causing catastrophic collisions with asteroids or comets. It's a fascinating thought experiment to imagine how life and civilization would adapt to this reversed world. But it also underscores the delicate balance of our planet and the importance of understanding and preserving it. In this visual journey, our Earth takes on a new form, one with dramatically exaggerated geographical features. Mountains tower higher than ever before, reaching past the clouds and into the stratosphere. Valleys, on the other hand, dip deep into the crust, forming chasms that rival the depths of our oceans. Imagine the challenges such a landscape would present. The weather patterns would be drastically different, with high-altitude winds racing across the towering peaks and deep valleys acting as reservoirs for dense, cool air. Ecosystems would also have to adapt with species evolving to survive in these extreme conditions. Now, think about human settlements. Living at such great heights or depths would be a formidable task. We would need to develop new technologies and adapt our existing ones to make these environments habitable. This world of extremes may seem daunting, but it's a reminder of our innate ability to innovate and adapt. It also underscores the importance of preserving our current environment, so we don't have to face such extreme conditions. But it's fascinating to imagine what life might be like in such a dramatically different world. Imagine our Earth, but with a different atmospheric composition. How would that change our world? Let's dive in. 
The air we breathe is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, argon, and traces of other gases. But what if we change that? Let's start with a more oxygen-rich atmosphere. Increased oxygen levels could lead to larger, more robust life forms, reminiscent of the gigantic insects of the Carboniferous period. However, it would also make fires more frequent and intense. Now, imagine a world with more carbon dioxide. While plants would thrive, global temperatures would skyrocket due to the greenhouse effect. Alternatively, an atmosphere with more helium might not support life as we know it at all, but it would give us all squeaky voices and balloons that sink. But what if our sky wasn't blue? The color of the sky is determined by the way Earth's atmosphere scatters sunlight, so a change in atmospheric composition could result in a different colored sky, perhaps a world with a green, purple, or even red sky. Fascinating, isn't it? As we ponder these alternative realities, let's remember to appreciate our own unique Earth's atmosphere that has just the right balance to support life as we know it. Imagine our Earth, but instead of the land masses we're familiar with, it's a world entirely covered by water. How would this change our world? Let's explore. First, we would have to adapt to a life at sea. Humans might evolve to become better swimmers, potentially developing webbed hands and feet. We might even see the development of gills or other adaptations for underwater living. Cities could be built on floating platforms or even underwater, with submarines replacing cars as the primary mode of transport. On the other hand, it's also possible that we would become more dependent on air travel. Now consider the biodiversity. The oceans are already teeming with life, but with the entire world as their habitat, the potential for new marine species is enormous. However, the lack of land would also mean the extinction of all terrestrial animals and plants. Moreover, exploration would be a challenge. With no landmarks for guidance, navigation would be far more difficult. And what about resources? With no land, mining for minerals would be almost impossible, and we'd have to find new ways to grow food. As we imagine this water world, let's appreciate the diversity and balance offered by our Earth where land and sea coexist in harmony. As our journey comes to an end, Let's take a moment to reflect on the fascinating possibilities we've explored. We've seen the Earth with swapped oceans and lands, without a moon and with two suns, with a different tilt and as a supercontinent. We've imagined a world without ice, civilizations beyond our imagination, and even a reverse journey of our planet. We've scaled towering mountains, delved into deep valleys and breathed in an altered atmosphere. Lastly, we've navigated the vast, unending expanse of a water world Earth. What do these alternate realities tell us? They remind us of the delicate balance that allows life to thrive on our planet. They show us the importance of preserving our world, for even the slightest change can have far-reaching impacts. They inspire us to continue exploring, learning, and understanding our universe. But most importantly, they make us appreciate our Earth, our home, in all its unique and beautiful complexity. As we draw the curtain on this incredible journey, remember that the power to shape our world lies within us. Our actions today determine the earth of tomorrow. So let's strive to make it a place where future generations can continue to dream, explore, and marvel at the wonders of the universe. As we arrive to our conclusion, we'll be wrapping up our journey. But before we do, take a moment to reflect. What fascinated you the most? What surprised you? And what did you learn? Share your thoughts with us as we continue planning our next journey of exploration and discovery.